everyone and welcome back to another video here on my channel. It's such a blessing to have everyone on here once again today. If you are new, if you're new here, then allow me to welcome you to the Intimate Connection family. Or if you are returning, then allow me to welcome you back. And whether you are new or returning, I encourage you to check out some of the other videos here on my channel so that you can continue to grow deeper and deeper in your relationship with God. Today's topic is on making wise decisions. First, we will open up with prayer and then get right into the Word of God for today. Come join me. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you humbly today in prayer. And Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you for who you are. And we, and we love you, Heavenly Father, for who you are. We thank you for your word today, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, that the seeds that are sown into the hearts and lives of your people today, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, will fall on good, fertile soil in our hearts and produce a harvest of a hundredfold right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And it's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. Making wise decisions. Making wise choices means we ask God what he wants first. The Bible says in Proverbs 2 verses 1 to 7, My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding, Yea, if thou criest after knowledge, and liftest up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver, and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord, and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous, he is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. As believers, we must constantly seek God's face for wisdom on what choices we should make and how God wants us to handle things rather than to do things our own way. The Bible says in Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. When we make wise choices by praying and asking God what we should do, then we experience the peace of God because we ask God for help and we were, and we were obedient to do what God told us to do. The Bible says in Matthew 6, verse 33, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. I want to encourage you today, if you're struggling to make a decision about something, go to God about it and ask God what he wants you to do. When he gives you the instructions, obey them. If something is stressing you today, then lay it at the feet of Jesus and ask God to help you through it. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5 verses 6 to 7, Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. God has every answer that you need. Making wise choices means we listen and follow instructions when they're given. The Bible says in Proverbs 12 verse 15, The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. As believers, we must learn that making wise decisions and choices means that we stop thinking that our own way is the best way. This requires us as believers to let go of pride and stubbornness and be willing to do the instructions that God gives us. The Bible says in Proverbs 11 verse 2, When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly is wisdom. Allow me to share with you an example from my own life. Just 
yet just yesterday and over the past few weeks um, God has been dealing with me about being stubborn particularly when God gives me instructions I must follow them right away and don't wait God really broke this down to me and taught me that by being stubborn and not listening I was being prideful and kept thinking that my way was the best way so I told God that I was sorry and I asked God for forgiveness and repented and then asked God to help me to learn to not be stubborn, but to be humble and always remain teachable. I want to encourage you that if you're dealing with stubbornness, give that to God and allow God to help you. Remember, God knows what's best for us and we must remember that God's way is the best way no matter what. The Bible says in Proverbs 1 verse 5, a wise man will hear and will increase learning and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels making wise choices means asking god to lead guide direct and order our footsteps the bible says in proverbs 16 verse 9 a man's heart deviseth his way but the Lord directeth his steps. As believers, when we allow God to order our steps, this gives us peace and helps us to rest in God more because we made a wise choice by asking God what he wants us to do and by asking God what he wants us to do, not just in our circumstances or, or, or situations, but in every area of our life. When we when we ask God to lead, guide, direct, and order our footsteps, this pleases God. Because rather than assume that we know what we're doing or know what direction to take, we allow God to step in and show us what to do and where to go. So we use wisdom when we stop and ask God first rather than to just assume something. However, when we don't know what to do, then that's okay. That means that we need to ask God for wisdom on how to handle a, 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 a situation or an issue that arises. Also, we must remember that not knowing what to do is nothing to be ashamed of. This just means that we need to take time and ask God to give us wisdom and God will give it to us let me show you in scripture. The Bible says in James chapter 1 verse 5, if any of you lacks if any of you if any of you lack wisdom, I'm sorry, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. So, I want to encourage you today that if you need wisdom or direction ask god for what you need and remember god has the solution to every issue that arises let's end with prayer most gracious heavenly father we come before you humbly today in prayer and we first just want to say thank you heavenly father for who you are and we love you heavenly father for who you are i pray heavenly father right now in the name of jesus that the seeds that have been sown into the hearts and lives of your people, Heavenly Father, by your Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, would fall on good, fertile soil in our hearts and produce a harvest of a hundredfold right now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We love you so much, Heavenly Father. We love you. We praise you and we worship you, Heavenly Father. We love you so much. We love you. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I pray that this video has blessed you today in the name of Jesus. If you would like to see more of these videos, then please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. You can subscribe by clicking on the, on the bell icon in the, in the lower right hand corner of your screen and clicking on the word all when the menu options pop up. So, that you won't miss any future uploads and so that you will be notified when the next video is posted. And remember, God loves you.
and I will see you all on the next one. Bye!